this is the message of, I want to say an, a young love, an old love. This is someone who you two, okay, this is not going to be for everyone. You two were just too young and you had different paths to take. You were too young and you had different paths to take, okay? So this could be, you know, someone that you, you know, you guys had crushes on each other in high school, okay? But you felt something deep with the person, even at a young age, or someone you dated, you know, in high school, or, you know, in your early 20s, or um, I'm not going to say much older than that. Well, I'm sorry, I take that back. You know, you could definitely be like, you know, in your 60s, 70s, you know, tuning in, right? And this could be someone that you, you knew when you were, you know, in 30s, 40s or, right? Okay. But this is, I'm getting more of like, um, like 20s, teenage 20s kind of age. A blast from the past for sure. Okay. This is not, this is someone, again, this is like, like two you know, two young souls, two ships passing through the night where maybe you guys just caught each other's eyes or maybe this is someone that, you know, was a first love or someone that you casually kind of dated or, um, maybe it's like a strong past life soulmate where you did date this person or were in some kind of like connection with this person and um, there was a falling out or you guys fell apart and it's been so long since you've reconnected or seen each other, okay? So that's coming through very strongly. So again, this isn't gonna be for everyone, um, but it's just coming through very strongly, okay? Let's see. It's Eight of Cups. You could be getting a lot of the 8-8 eight, eight or 8-8-8, eight, 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 okay? Um, and right as I say that, Temperance and Ten of Cups. Hmm. There's the lovers. There, I knew, I knew either the lovers or the Two of Cups. Two of Cups might come out, Ace of Cups. We already have the freaking Ten of Cups. It's flying in, you guys. This is flying in. Literally, this, this person is flying into your life, okay? Your love life is about to take flight in a, in a big way, okay? And this person, <clears throat> this is what you have um, manifested. I'm getting like real, I'm getting like heart chakra stuff going on right now. Okay, so this is activating the heart. Like your hearts are calling out to each other. It's like the energy that's like emanating out is like, connecting or calling it in. I don't know. Something like that though, but it's two lovers uniting. Two soulmates uniting. The geese mate for life. I'm getting something about artwork and artistry. The blue heron speaks of patience. Temperance speaks of patience. Tempering oneself. This person could already be like, you know, kind of watching you or asking about you or I don't know. I'm just, okay, they could just be like kind of like, let's say they look you up on Facebook or something or I don't know, right? But like you guys don't follow each other, but they just like look up your name to see like your thumbnail, okay? When you're soul love light turns on for someone at a destined point in time and divine timing, you will intuitively and, you know, you'll be guided. You'll be guided, you'll, you know? And so whoever this is, it's not like being a creeper. It's, I mean, they are creeping, but they're not being a creeper, like in a creepy way. They're doing it in a like, I just, 
all of a sudden started thinking a lot about you again or your your memory popped up randomly after all these years um and now i can't like i'm feeling things i'm 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 feeling pulled to you or i'm feeling called to you i'm feeling drawn to you this could be someone who was like a childhood friend you know or someone you went to elementary school with you know, who you sat near in class, but you don't even remember they exist at this point. And then they resurface and it's like, remember me, right? Like, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I do remember you now. But I think for the majority of who this is for, it's like I said, it's young love. And I keep hearing this song by the Judds. And the song is called Young Love. Young Love true love it's a new love they're gonna make it through the hard times and walk the lines um i forgot i'm like going blank right now with the rest of it but anyways it speaks of two young like teenage lovers who they fall in love uh, and the song, his name is Billy with Billy with the baseball cap, right? And she's like, boy, I'd like to spend some, or I wish I could, I'd love to spend some time with a boy like that, right? Literally, that's what I'm getting. Like young loves. Like, it's just like you guys were too young. It was, you had other plans on your soul paths in life. You had lessons and karma and healing and all these things. This is very much a reconciliation energy. You guys have both been, you know, walking on these quests of leaving things behind in your life, feeling maybe, you know, displaced, not displaced, but different, you know, like at family gatherings or, you know, you go to like a, a family party or, you know, a friend's party or something, right? And everyone's coupled up and married and has 10 kids. And I mean, you may have kids, maybe you've been married, but it's kind of giving me the vibe of like just two single people that are like, right? And pe everyone around them's like, I hope, you know, when are you going to meet someone? No, 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 no. That's what I'm getting. Because it's also giving me the vibe of like, I never in a million years thought that it would be you. Like, I never thought it would be you. Keep in mind, I mean, this could be someone who like at a younger age, like kind of broke your heart because maybe they walked away from you. But this is not someone who, you know, was extremely like toxic to you and it, right? This is someone, it's very innocent, the energy and vibe here. It's very innocent. It's very much like we didn't know any better. Like we just, we were connecting on that soul level. We were so open. Our hearts were so open when we were younger, you know, this could have been one of the very first people you dated or were with or something that left that mark on your heart, okay? Or like maybe this breakup or ending created a blockage within your heart that's been with you for a long time or, you know, I don't know. Whatever it is, this is some happy, 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 happy unicorns, rainbows, butterflies and, and, and fairy gardens okay like this is this is like the cream of the crop love romance partnership it's so healing it's divine i mean the angels this is angelic two geese for the past like i'm gonna say week but especially over the past about four or five days every single morning without fail and it's weird, which is why I'm, it's, I'm bringing it up. I've been being shown, they've been flying over my house in front of me, just two, a pair of geese, just two geese, just like that. Honking and flying by. This morning I was channeling out and typing a channeled message for Instagram. And I believe I posted it here too on the community page. And it was... As I was writing it and channeling it, <laughs> the two geese flew overhead and I said, the two geese are flying overhead honking. They're like, you know, and I said confirmation. And then in this message that is different than what I'm, con 
than what I usually get. You know, this is definitely a young, this is young love. This is, again, this is not going to be for everybody, but it could be, like I said, someone you knew in school or college, you know, maybe, maybe it's someone you, you, you knew and maybe, you know, um, they've changed a lot or, you know, you guys, it's just, you guys have grown up. That's the thing. There's a innocence, like a childlike innocence, very innocent love, like to, to, to like young souls, like, you know, and I mean, you could be an old soul, but you get what I mean. Like young, a young soul in life. This is destiny though. This is something that's destined. This was meant to come back, circle back or something. Okay. This could also be someone that is like vibrating at a higher level and they're a match for you. And the universe, I mean, like it might be a really good match. And that's why the universe is bringing this person back in. Because you share, you share that soul connection. But it's like you guys have both done, you know, a lot of work on yourselves. And it's actually perfect now. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just channeling everything that's going to, that's coming through. But this is happily ever after. Ten of cups. I mean, this is having it all. And if you look, okay, at, at the way this is, the geese are flying towards the the blue heron, right? And the blue heron's wing and, and, and beak and everything is facing, they're all facing and flying towards the ten cups. I want to know about this eight cups, though. The, bro the, 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 the eight broken cups. <laughs> I think that this is just symbolic of all of the shit that you guys have been through and walked away from in your lives. Okay, but this can, yeah, this could be someone who, you know, you walked away from in the past. And I mean, if, if it's someone you dated or were with, I mean, you clearly one of you had to walk away or something had to happen or you both, it was mutual, right? I don't know. Oh my God, six, six just came out. Six, six just came out. You could be getting a lot of those numbers, but you know, June six could be relevant. I'm also getting April six. So maybe someone just had a birthday or that's, you know, some of this other, per I don't know. I'm just getting, I'm specifically getting birthdays. So, wow. This is an absolute victory. This is a part of divine reward. This is a this is a reward. This is a strong past life soulmate. That's exactly what I said. It's someone from the past, Six of Cups, came out with the Six of Wands together. That's powerful when numbers like this come together. It's 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 amplifying the numerology and ener the, the energy of the number and the meanings of the numbers. I can't believe it's you. Like, this is crazy. That's what I keep getting. Empress is on the bottom of the deck. See, this is the Empress calling it in. Six of Pentacles. There it is. Again, rewards materializing, okay, in your life. Equal give and take, something balanced, but it's about, like, the universe. Like, this is earned rewards. This is, you know, because of your good heart and your generous heart and things you've been putting out. This person too, whoever this is, they're a good person. Whoever this is, this person has a good soul. Like they have a wonderful heart. This is someone who carries a lot of emotions, love. They're very generous, very caring, but Empress is here and her counterpart is the emperor. And this right here means divine counterpart love. Okay. That's what this means right here. Strong past life roots and ties together. You guys have had many lifetimes over. That's why the love is so deeply felt between the two of you guys too. It's like instantaneous. That's what I meant by like even at a young age, you know, like let's say you were, it was like high school and you would like dated this person in, in high school for a little while, right? Okay, and your parents were probably like, oh, how cute, young love. But you guys were like, no, this is real. I know what this is. I love this person. 
and uh, the adults and everyone around you is like, yeah, okay, sure, kid, you're going to love other people. Yeah, okay, this isn't even going to last. And maybe you were older than that. I don't know. But if there's something about, like, you, but you guys both felt it. And there's something about, like, for some of you guys, like, you've thought of this person. They've thought of you throughout the years. Like, sporadically, randomly. You've come into each other's thoughts. You could be even coming into each other's dreams. All right, so I was just gonna say, so tell me, because I keep looking down at the love, at the at the at the geese, the love geese here, the lovers. I keep, I was just gonna say, that, yeah, but this this is flying in, and this is happening fast. Have you ever seen geese fly? They're like they're fast when they fly. They they go right. And they're so smooth the way that they fly too. So it's just like this person just glides right on in and everything just comes in and it happens very smoothly, organically. Again, I just keep getting like, oops, I can't believe it's you. Like, this is crazy. I never in a million thought or years thought that we'd ever talk again or I'd ever see you again or, you know, you know, how did you find me? Or like, do you know what I mean? It's kind of giving me all that vibe. Yeah, this is flying in. This web has been being weaved between you guys. You guys are super connected. You guys work well together. This is very beautiful, very balanced. The Empress is harvest and abundant energy too, right? The birth of new cycles, the mother, the, the wife, you know. This is your perfect partner here. You guys are perfect for each other. I was gonna go, um, I was gonna do uh, like a love reading for the live that I'm supposed to do later, but I think I'm just gonna do like messages from spirit, oops. So I wanted to record this message. It's the father of wands, it's the king of wands. Someone who courageously like takes their, they, they, they like, they, they, okay. They're, they're following a passionate pursuit when it comes to you, but it's also like lightning has struck in their life. Like it's like they, they feel like they hit the jackpot or, you know, but there's this like epiphany energy here too with this person. I'm telling you for some of you guys, it's like all of a sudden you just started coming into their thoughts again and they started wondering about you and maybe what you're up to and how you've been and. Okay, maybe then they started looking you up on social and then, you know, like one thing led to another and okay, like that's the thing. If you're someone who's in the, you know, public eye, maybe you have a channel or right, a YouTube channel or a TikTok, right, or Instagram or you have a large following. Like, I don't know. There's all, there's so many scenarios, but definitely this person sees you. Definitely you charge this person's battery up. Okay. I mean, their passion battery. This is someone who is like very attracted to you. This is giving me like, it feels like love at first sight, even though it's a past person, but it's like really meeting each other on a different level in a more mature way. And in a, you know, just living through life and having life experiences and all these things, you guys come back together and it just, it just works and makes beautiful sense. And it, it brings forth this energy, okay? This could be someone who's a bit of a playboy or playgirl, okay? This could be someone who, like, doesn't really settle down or, okay? The king of wands can be that way. Someone who may be a little in the ego or has been or could be, like, a bit of a womanizer or someone who thinks, like, oh, they're so good looking and, oh, they've got it going on. And, you know, it's kind of like that. So I feel like with lightning striking, this, this snake, okay, this cobra is kind of thinking, what the fuck? Like, what just, <laughs> what's happening? That's what, that's what, that's what I'm feeling off of this person or off of the snake cobra, which is the person. Cause look at, he's looking, I just laid it down and realize it. He's looking at the person. He's like, Oh my God, there's just freaking, he's just, he's zapped, zapped with the, with the lightning. Okay. 
Five of Pentacles is showing up. Could be someone who's felt out in the cold for a long time, or maybe you felt a little out in the cold for a long time with this person. You know, I, I'm actually not wanting to use that deck anymore. I'm going to wrap up the message. Um, oh, I forgot about the Five of Swords. Okay, so false victory, defeat. This person could have rejected you at a younger age or years ago or whatever, okay? They could have rejected you and now they see you as the empress. That's why he's like, oh my gosh. See, even the, the snake is stunned. Like he's like a deer in headlights. Lightning is going off in his head and all around and and his um <laughs> in his happy parts, okay? All right. Like very, very just in awe of the of the Empress. And they see, okay, or it might make them feel a little like, you know. I'm kind of getting like what might have been this it might make this person a little nostalgic where they kind of have some regrets around wow, they, they've changed, you know, or, oh, they're so different, or, oh my gosh, you know, if I had, you know, not let them go years ago, if I had just done this, or if I had come forward sooner, we would have had more time together, or, you know what I mean? It kind of is giving me that, like, just playing scenarios of, like, you know, oh, what if, and we should have, and this, and, but it's just, like, they, I don't know, it's nothing, to me, it's, I don't know, it's nothing major. I mean, I know it's out here, but it's minor arcana, but, and I think that it's just someone who, could be afraid they've been maybe afraid of love or like really like committing or being open or they maybe oh this is what i'm getting someone who's been single maybe or just kind of very right they're very particular maybe they're like the only friend in their friend group you know at their age that's still single and maybe they've started having some thoughts because swords are thoughts right maybe they've started having some thoughts around Gosh, am I ever going to meet anyone? Have I been too picky? You know, did I sabotage myself? And then they see you and it's like, or they, you know, they have that thought or the dream or whatever. And they're like, zing. <laughs> okay, like, I'm going to get back to that person. That's what I've got for you guys. Getting to know each other. See, getting to know each other again, but for real, like on a deep level, for real, for real, you know? As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah, this is, I'm telling you, this is like, it's just opening up to one another. It's very different. Learning and forgiving was on the bottom of the deck. I think that's just confirmation of the fact that you guys have both been doing a lot of healing work in your lives and you've been through a lot of stuff. There it is. I was waiting for that card. I was like... It's, I'm, it's, it usually always comes out like when we have a really strong past life connection, but past life relationship. So again, this could be someone that you dated or were with or whatever, but it's not some toxic, crazy karmic person. This is not that. This is exactly what I said it was. Okay. And please don't take it any other. It's something where it was like a missed opportunity because you guys were just meant to go different paths or you just were too young to handle the, the love that you actually were both feeling on a soul level. Okay. You couldn't handle it. You were immature. You had life lessons ahead of you. Like, okay, maybe you fumbled it a little bit, right? You dropped the ball or they did or whatever, right? But lessons have been learned. Things have been healed and now it comes back and it's absolutely beautiful. Ten cups. Beautiful. The lovers beautiful and healing like so balanced there it is okay and then it says very soon on the bottom of the deck very soon this is happening <laughs> april okay so like we're like okay i'm gonna say like over like april and may but like over the next like few months like, like april may and june but by the time like we're like full on in summer season here in the Northern Hemisphere, like, it's it's literally, like, it's going to be a hot summer. It's going to be a hot summer. Like, like this hot, okay? Like, there's so many divine unions coming together. And trust me, this is all a part of, like, some prophecy that I've been seeing, too. And I'll share that with you guys when the time is right. Um, 
Yeah. Anyways, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah. This is someone who you're meant to have children with or have a family home with. Like this is, this is, this is balanced though. This is two, two people who share a lot of past life energy, but I don't necessarily feel that this is someone that you were, I feel for a lot of you guys, it was someone that like, it was always meant to circle back, whether you were open to it or not, whatever. But I think for a lot of you guys too, that this is um, someone that was not meant to circle back. And you guys have both raised your vibrations, healed, awakened, or been, you know, whatever, like, and Something is where you guys are at the right level and because you have the strong past life soulmate energy that you share, the universe, you guys are coming back together and it's beautiful. Okay, so, you know, totally up to you, your free will and all that, but this is what I've got for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments how this resonates. Um, you know, there's kind of like the what if, the one that got away kind of feeling here too. So. If there's someone from your past like that, that you feel maybe feels that way about you or whatever too, like you're probably right. Okay. Because that's the vibe here. Um, anyways, if you guys want to book your own personal session and connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, connect with my gifts, maybe you want to hone into love or just general or, um, you know, soul, soul guidance or, you know, stuff about your spiritual gifts, things like that, right? It's all down below in the description box. Um, I have a few different reading options, services, etc. Okay. So I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your loving support, for every like, for commenting, for sharing, for co-creating these messages, because I'm channeling for you. I'm channeling for whoever's going to find this reading through all space and time. And that's who I'm co-creating this message with. So thank you. <laughs> and um, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's that's it. Okay. So anyways, my loves. Um, yes, I will see you guys later, probably on the live. Um, if you're going to be there, have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.